Well, Spring Hill man considers himself to be pretty lucky tonight. That's because he survived a poisonous snake bite. The injury happened right outside his home on Springwood Drive North. And as Fox News reporter Derek Williams tells us, he stepped on the snake. You see the two holes? Don't, don't. T. Harrison's ankle is sore and still swollen. I felt it hit me, boom, right there. Thought it was a base thing. And I went to SWAT. He was bit while walking across his front yard. And I was just walking back up to the house. So as I turn around, I see the snake uh, in the ground. A copperhead snake similar to this one was slithering around. Then when I looked at its head, you know, it had a diamond-shaped head. And then at, as I spun it over, its mouth was open. And it looked, you know, it was, it was, it was a copperhead. And I grabbed the shovel and went and killed it. I knew it was poisonous at that time, so ran in the house. <laughs> Told my wife I got bit by a snake. She's like, a snake? It's, you know, she's free. And I was like, yes, a poisonous copperhead. And so we need to, we need to go quickly. Knowing time is of the essence, Harrison rushed to the emergency room. I'm guessing the poison started to make it very sore and it started throbbing and stuff like that. So I felt like I was having a panic attack. And he was, it, you know, I said, man, you know, I'm really getting a little... Shortness of breath, stuff like that. It can be very serious. People do die uh, every year in the United States uh, from snake bites. Doctors at Spring Hill Medical Center treated the wound. Uh, with Copperhead, which is a fairly venomous snake, uh, we give anti-venom, uh, which is the reversal agent for that venom. It was extremely painful at that point. I mean, it, the only way I can describe it is, is like getting a nail gun to your heel. You know, it, it was bad. Harrison believes the snake probably came from this area behind his home. There's Three Mile Creek as well as a large wooded area full of wildlife. He says he's seen rattlesnakes, copperheads, and moccasins back here, but nothing poisonous ever came to this side until now. So to protect his wife and children, Harrison is exploring different remedies. The, the number one thing I've been told to do is to get a cat. But we've also heard mothballs and putting like uh, sulfur or there's some snake rid type stuff that you put around your yard and everything. Harrison says this bite serves as a reminder to keep your eyes open and your grass cut low. Reporting from Mobile, Derricka Williams, Fox 10 News. Wow, it's something else. Doctors say snake bites are fairly rare, but they happen more during the spring. And they say most bites happen on your hands and feet when people start to remove leaves, pine straw, or they're out in the garden. If you're bitten by a poisonous snake, do just as that guy did. Go straight to the ER. When a government